my name's Michaela, and you're watching Flint Eye Style. So lately, I've found myself needing some more business casual type clothing just for different things and different events. When I went to get dressed one day for one of those things, I looked at my closet and I'm like, that's too casual. That's too fancy. That's way too casual. Like, I didn't realize what little business casual attire I had. Like, it was actually embarrassing. I'm like, I'm going to be 21 and I hardly have any business casual stuff. I was like, I need to change that. And I realized how difficult it is to find business casual attire when you're only 2 feet 7 inches tall. It was quite challenging, but I've recently really enjoyed Dillard's, but all their nice tops are like, honest to gosh, like, I had like five things in my cart and I realized that it was all navy. And I'm like, I'm not going to wear all navy clothing. I didn't end up getting any of it because I was like, I kind of already have a, not a lot, but like a good amount of navy stuff right now. Like, I want different colors. So I didn't end up getting anything from Dillard's, which was really disappointing because I know they're like more expensive, but some of the stuff I found was on clearance, but I was like, I have enough navy stuff. Like, I want different colors, and every single piece that I liked from there was navy. Every single one. And they didn't have them in other colors. That led me to, I actually found some cute stuff at Gap and H&M, so only two places today that I'm showing you guys, and some of this stuff is casual, like just for every day, where four casual tops and the rest are like business casual. It's really not that much stuff, so this video won't be very long, but I figured it was enough to do a clothing haul, so I guess I'll just go ahead and get into the haul. It's just Gap and h and M's. I'll have everything linked down below if I can still find it. Uh, since I just bought it, it should still be available, but yeah, I'm really happy with all the pieces that I found. Even though it was a challenge, it was worth the wait because I found it some good pieces. Let's get into this business casual clothing haul and yeah, let's go. Okay, so first we're going to start out with Gap. Now, I've never shopped at Gap before. We don't have one in my area, but I shopped online for all this stuff, both Gap and H&M. Now, Gap is normally very expensive, like way out of my price range at the moment. I went on there and a few things were on sale, but they had an amazing coupon. I had one like 40% off coupon and then I could stack it like another 15% off coupon. I don't remember like what exactly. I know one of them for sure was 40% off. So I got some stinking awesome deals and like I said, Gap is normally very expensive, but this stuff was extremely affordable. So let's go ahead and get into what I got. Now mind you, this is business casual, so not like business attire, but business casual. I don't know what style you would call this, so I'm just gonna call them peplum tops. Is that what they look like? Or like baby doll style? Maybe, I'm not really sure, but the first top that I got is just this blue top, and it's blue, like periwinkle blue on the top half, and then the bottom half is just this blue floral print. And, you know, I really like it. Like I said, this haul is going to go pretty quick. There's not really much else to say, but I really love it. And it's funny because I have a top, a business casual top that I purchased from H&M that you'll see in this haul. And this floral pattern is almost the exact same as this other top that I'm going to show you guys. And they're from two different stores. So, it's pretty, I thought that was pretty funny. I didn't even realize when they both came that there were such similar prints, but I really, really love this color on me, like with my skin tone and brown hair. I just think it looks really good. All my business casual stuff from Gap is the same style, just different colors and patterns, because it was all that I found that I liked on there. So. By the way, this is all tops, and I have one dress, but it's not a business casual dress. It's just a summer dress, but I didn't need any skirts or anything, so... These are all just tops, but the next one that I got is another baby doll peplum style top. And it's just gray on the top with these, what do you call these stripes? Not, like I know they're vertical stripes, but there's like a certain pat, like pattern name I think for these stripes. I don't remember, but it's just like this peachy coral pattern. And the only thing I don't like is the fabric that this bottom part is, is gets kind of wrinkly. So, that's kind of annoying, but like I said, it's such a struggle to find business casual stuff. 
when you're only two feet seven inches tall. So you get what you can get and you get it. But yeah, I really like this one too. Again, another baby doll peplum style top with the vertical stripes and just this nice beautiful pink color on top. I like how they had so many different colors in this style. I really like it because it is quick and easy. Now this top I actually already wore. You guys seen it in my Blooming Bronze makeup tutorial because I thought it would look good with the theme and stuff but I actually got a makeup stain on it and I was dumb and I already washed it so I don't know if I can get the stain out. If you guys know how to get makeup stains out of a top like this, let me know. The top isn't pure white, it's like a cream white. So I think that would help me, but if you guys know how to get a foundation, oh, this is actually my CC cream. If you know how to get a CC cream stain out, comment down below because I really hope I can save this top because it's one of my favorites. It has just these vertical stripes again, but it's mint green and it's so pretty. So. It's one of my favorites, so I definitely hope that I can salvage this. So if you have any tips and tricks of the trade for that, let me know. And then the last item that I got from Gap was just a casual top. This is definitely not business casual, at least I don't think so, but, but I just liked it. And I didn't have to get all business casual stuff if I didn't want to. This I can get, like, other clothes, too. But this is just a plain gray top with white polka dots. I just thought it was super cute. I don't have much stuff with polka dots on it, so I thought that was super fun, and it has, you can't really tell, but it has a pocket over here, so I thought that was super cute, but it's so soft. I'm really excited to wear this. I'm telling you guys, this is not going to be a long haul at all. We're already at the H&M stuff now. H&M had some really, really great stuff, and this top in particular, I'm so excited. This might be one of my favorite tops for the whole haul and it's just this like what do they call this like I don't think they call it kimono style but it's like it wraps in the front here if I lift it up a little bit more because you, you button it and then unbutton this you button this part up and then it kind of like wraps in the front I'll put a picture right here of what it looks like on I already wore it in an Instagram post when I shared my announcement of the Regal Health Award Nomination, I wore this in that Instagram picture, so you can't really see it though because I have my big announcement sign in front of it. So I'll post a photo from the website. You'll be seeing me wear it like all the time because this is, even though it's like business casual, it's still one of my favorite tops ever. Like this is so nice. I never thought I'd be able to find something like this. I think sophisticated is a bit much, but it's just like nice and like kids clothes, so I'm super stoked. And then this is the last business casual top that I found at H&M and the rest of my items from H&M and for this haul are casual. So here's this blouse and I really don't know what you call this pattern. Like it's not Aztec but it's kind of gives me those vibes. I love the color with the white and the neon pink and the black. Like I just love the detail on this top and the tassels on here are so cute and I just think it is the most, the most nice blouse that I have, and I just love the sleeves, and it's just nice, perfect business casual top, and I'm very excited about it, so this was a really fun find. The next item of this haul is this nude pink top with, like, this ringer style on the neckline, and it's just white and navy, so I really like this color combination, and this top is so soft. I cannot wait to wear this, so I was excited to find this as well. I was excited to find all this stuff, though. That's why I bought it. The next top that I purchased from H&M is just this casual mauve pink tee, white striped tee. So, again, super soft, and I love the shade of pink. I had to get it. Just a nice casual. You can't go wrong with stripes. Another great find. I love how in the beginning of this haul, I complained of navy stuff, but I had to get this dress. So fun. So I got this nice springy summery dress. I don't know what you call this pattern, but I really like it. Not sure what you call this pattern. If you know, let me know, but I just love how, again, it's so difficult to find, like, this sounds so dumb, but it's my reality. But, like, grown-up style clothing, but I feel like as time goes on, it is getting easier. It's very exciting for me to go shopping because of that. So that is it for this Gap and H&M clothing haul. I told you guys... It would not be very much, and it would go pretty quickly. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this clothing haul. I really, even though it was like less business casual clothes than I was hoping to find, I do really enjoy the pieces that I did find. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know of some good places that I could get some business casual clothes and like kids clothes. So I'll tell you where I've looked so far. Dillard's had just like navy stuff. Bloomingdale's didn't really have, and I know you're like, how can you afford to shop there? But like one or two items is like fine at stores like that, especially when I shop in kids clothes because it's not as expensive. So like Bloomingdale's didn't really have much of anything. And Nordstrom didn't really have much. And uh, I think I mentioned JCPenney. Target didn't really have much. So that left me with H&M and Gap. Old Navy didn't have anything that I liked. I went in a little bit dry, but let me know. Maybe you guys would have some good ideas. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoy showing my clothing hauls with you guys. I really enjoy filming them, and I hope because I know I have other viewers with osteogenesis and perfecta as well, and I know the struggle of trying to find age-appropriate clothing for different occasions at different stores. So I hope this is especially helpful to those of you out there in the similar situations. That's it for this video, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching.